Hi, I'm Robert Krenz and I'm asked to do some pro tips about 12 scale. So, I have here my the newest model, the OnPoint OPA 12 c.1. And I wanted to tell you something about the 12 scale. For example, you had a really hard hit in your final or your qualification and the car doesn't feel good anymore. Left and right aren't the same. Um, personally, I always check some things about the car. And I start with the chassis, the bottom plate. Uh, this can tweak. So I check this with my calipers. And I just put it on my chassis to see if it's straight or not. And you can see there's a really big gap just between the chassis and the calipers. So at this side, the chassis is tweaked. The other side is okay, it's pretty straight, so the car is tweaked and the pressure on four wheels isn't the same. So you can rid of this uh, tweak to uh, loosen the front four screws of the front suspension, those four screws. You just need a 2mm screwdriver to loosen these screws. There are some uh, height spacers underneath the front suspension between here and you can see they're already falling out make sure they don't fall out because you need them uh, for racing so when you did this you can wobble the front suspension a bit the screws are now loose and you can bolt them tight again but I do this in a cross so I start with the first screw go diagonal to the other then go straight and the last one. Normally this should help to get rid of the tweak. If it doesn't help, you need to check more into chassis. Maybe it's broken in the inside or there's something more wrong. And now you can see when I put on the calipers it's pretty much straight again. So this helped. And the other side is also really straight. So next up is um, the center pivot. This can also move or change um, but this is a bit harder to check and it needs to be absolute free. I'm going to disassemble a bit and show you later on. So if you want to check the center pivot you need to disassemble a few parts. I start with the center shock. I just disconnected. There are some ball joints which you can easily pop off. Then you need to disassemble the side tubes. These are just with a few nuts. And you need to disassemble the side springs. And then the rear pod will be totally free. And if you just easily pull these off so you don't break them and put them aside. So the rear port is now totally free except for the wires but they don't make it feel different. And now it's really hard to feel. You need to be really gentle on it and this needs to be absolutely totally free. If you feel a slight click or a slight tick the center pivot is just uh, a bit Room on the chassis so you need to adjust it and when I feel it like this I feel there's a little little tick in it so I need to redo it and when I redo it I just unscrew the two screws of the center pivot and then try to make it straight again so with the two mil screw I unscrew them I can feel again and it's now completely loose. You can also see that the center block has some play at it. And now is the hard part. A few people do this, do this a different way. I do it like this. I hold the rear pot and I screw the two screws gently. One turn, the other one, a turn, and a turn, and a turn. Just tighten it up real slowly and if they're tight enough you can check it again. If 
feel if it's okay. And now I don't feel a tick anymore, so it's it's okay, it's good. When you still feel a tick, you need to check all the balls of your side links, the ball of your center pivot, or maybe there is something else wrong, so you need to check the whole car. But normally this does it. Um, but then again, the car still can feel strange at the track. So last we're gonna do the rear pot, but I need to disassemble it again, so give me some time. So the motor is one of the heaviest parts of a 12 scale car and normally when you have a really hard hit this weight pushes through the car so that's why the rear pot is easily tweaked and you can check that on a glass plate or a setup plate I have a glass plate here and uh, you can feed it by ticking on the sides and if you see it here it's really hard to see it's a tiny bit but it's tweaked when I push it these sides, it doesn't move. When I push it this side, you see that this end lifts up. So that means that the pot plates are tweaked and it isn't straight. And this will have a strange pressure on the four wheels. So you need to make it straight again. But because the motor is so heavy, I always check the aluminium parts on the car. So I start to unscrew the rear pot and uh, I'm gonna check all the aluminium So now I have the two aluminium parts and they're a bit dusty but that doesn't matter. And now you can do the same trick just with the four fingers. You can push on the opposite corners and this one doesn't move so the motor mount is still straight. That's a good thing and the other side is a little bit dust on it. That was also still, still straight, so it possibly is tweaked by the carbon. So now check the carbon, it's also straight. So I'm gonna reassemble it again and just uh, make it straight so I can mount it on the car. I also use a glass plate when I uh, assemble it again, so I know it's absolutely straight. And this is really important with 12 scale. So now the bulkheads are on, but I gave them a little bit of play, so you can see they're not tied up yet. Then uh, I'm gonna place it on a glass plate, like so. Push in the center and screw all the four screws tight. Again in a cross motion, so this one first. Go diagonal to the other one. Go straight to the third one, and then. Diagonal to the last one. Normally this should do it. And as you can see, it's now straight. Then we need to put on the upper pot plate again. Just not tightened up yet. Wait for the other screws to go in and then tighten them. You can see I screw them in and just give them a half a turn back so they're not tight. Screw it in, half a turn back, it's not tight. And then the last one. Again, I'm gonna give a little pressure on the pot and screw those four screws tight. Again, in a cross motion. So this one, then you know to the second one, straight to the third one, and then the fourth one. And now it should be uh, straight again. And if you check it, it doesn't move, so I can put pressure on the points 
and it's straight again so this is okay to put in the car again and uh, now the car should be straight on the track again but if it's not you can check some other parts and uh, I'm gonna look for the car furthermore so now uh, the back end is off I can uh, feel if the center pivot still is absolutely free center pivot the ball needs to be absolutely free just gently move it and it should be okay it's free but there should also be less play in it so you can check it I put a screwdriver in it I try to push it up and down it barely has any play so that's good you do that with all the balls in the car so you also check the links there can be no play but they need to be butter smooth and then uh, the car should drive okay again.